Do you ever look at one of your old projects and think, I really want to make a better version of this? It's not that the project is bad per se, I mean it does the job, it's just that you know you can make it better. Here's a case in point, I made this box as one of my first ever prints and it was made to store all of my soldering equipment inside. There's a lot wrong with it. For starters, look at the amount of warping that's happened on the bottom edge of this print, meaning that it doesn't even sit flat properly. These holes are modelled so that I could put magnets in so that the lid would shut magnetically and the magnets don't even fit properly. There's still some support material inside that I was never actually able to get out. It's also just one big space where everything gets thrown in and mixed up. It's not really organised at all. And I've decided, enough is enough. I'm going to make a better version of this. So how do I want the next version of this project to be better? Well, for a start, I want it to be smaller. I want a nice hinged lid that I can open and close so the lid doesn't get lost. I also wanted to have a drawer so that I can store smaller soldering items without putting everything into one big space and it's got to be better looking than the first one. There's a little side quest that I need to go on first though. I need to redesign the solder iron holder that I got with my kit. The one that I have now is really too big and I think with a little bit of design work I can make a smaller version that does the same job but takes up less space. This design looks pretty good. It's a lot smaller than the current stand that I have and I'm able to adjust the angle of where the soldering iron goes into using an M2 nut and bolt, which is a handy feature. The only thing is, is that if a hot soldering iron contacts PLA or PETG, it's going to melt it, so I'm going to use these bearings as a way of having some metal for the iron to contact rather than the plastic. Yeah, so this design looks a lot better now. I'm able to take the iron in and out without any trouble. And the most important thing is that this new stand is a lot smaller than the old metal stand that I was using, which means I can save a bit of space. Now that I know how big the items are that I'm going to store inside the container, I can take some measurements to figure out how much space I need. I really shouldn't have skipped art class in school. This design looks pretty good, and it's ticking off all of the design conditions I set out earlier. The overall container is made out of smaller parts, which makes it easier to print and then put together at the end. It's got a hinged lid that opens and closes, with space for the iron and the iron stand inside, and then the lid is kept closed with a latch. I've also made a drawer where I can store smaller items like solder, soldering tips, solder wick or any other items that I might need when working. And this time it's even got a handle which makes it easier to move around. And as far as appearances go, yellow and black are a good combination. I mean it definitely beats the plain old white box that I've been using up till now. I'm really loving the option of setting up multiple plates in Prusa Slicer. Nothing better than watching both your printers go at full speed. And so far, so good, the hinge seems to be working well. I modelled four little locating spots, one at each corner to help fit the drawer onto the rest of the model. And a little bit of super glue will do the trick nicely here. This is coming together nicely. The hinge is working properly and the super glue joint is strong enough to hold the drawer onto the main box even when it's given a bit of a shake.
I'm using two M3 by 40s here. The first one is to hold the latch in place and then the second one, the one underneath, is for the latch to grab onto. And now we've got a fully working latch and a nice easy to use handle. This thin strip PETG is going to act almost like a veneer or a trim and the main goal of it is to cover up the join between the drawer and the rest of the model. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. And that's all come together really nicely. But now we need to see how it compares against that design checklist I set out earlier. To start with, it's definitely better looking than, well, the other container I was using. So we can tick that off. I've got a lid that's connected via hinge, so there's no risk of me losing it. And I've got ample space to store my soldering iron and newly designed iron holder. I've got a drawer now where I can store smaller items like solder, solder wick, bare tips and anything else that I need to. And lastly, it's a good bit smaller than the old container that I was using. It takes up less space and it looks a little bit nicer. If you're just getting started and your designs aren't as good as you'd like them to be, just keep going and let time work its magic. There's no way I would have been able to make even this relatively simple project when I first got started. But each new project you do teaches a little lesson and then eventually these lessons add up and then you're able to take bigger strides onto cooler things. And old projects like this, they're a nice reminder of how far you've come and how far you can go. And thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and consider checking out this video where I make my very own robot arm.